Hello everyone, welcome back with a new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to install multiple smart contracts on a single channel. In the previous video, we have covered how to how to run this repo from end to end. I am assuming that you have already covered these things and you are able to run our network without any issue. So in case if you are facing any issue, just let me know. I will try to help you. Because in case if you are stuck with somewhere, then you won't be able to do the next steps. So these are totally dependent on these steps. Like if you are able to execute these things, then only you can uh, proceed further. With First thing, creating, uh, cloning the repo, running the certificate authority instances, creating the crypto material for using those certificate authority instances, creating the channel artifacts, creating the channel, joining the peer, deploying the smart contract, creating the connection profiles, registering the user, invoking transaction, the query, querying the transactions. Again, here I have missed one thing, uh, running the server actually, API server, but that is a small thing. So I will add it here. So because these things I'm not going to cover again and again. So in case uh, if you are stuck with somewhere or maybe you didn't follow these steps, just make sure that you execute these steps. Just follow the previous video and start with this video again. I'm assuming already our server is already up and running. Network is already up and running. So installing the multi uh, for in case of multiple smart contract, I will be installing the new smart contract on the same channel. So this channel is already created. So I'm not going to cover that part again. So installing the smart con multiple smart contract on the same channel. So let's jump into the VS code. Right now you can see Fabcar it's already installed on our network and that is running smoothly because we have invoked transactions and we have queried the same uh, transactions like getting the asset for that particular car. These things we have already done. So what is the next step? How we can install another smart contract on the same channel. The procedure is straightforward, exactly same what we have followed for the Fabcar. So this is the document CC. You can see in the same hierarchy, github.com, we have three smart contract like GitHub, sorry, uh, document CC, Fabcar and multi-contact CC. So don't worry about this third one. I will discuss it later. Document CC, this is the smart contract. What exactly it contains? So let's see, test go. go. This is the file. So inside I have just written two function get document by ID create document and another is the, yeah there are only two functions this is just for the test purpose in case if you want to implement multiple as per your business use case just make sure that you are just following the same structure as the previous and just you can add n number of functions as per your requirement so creating the document you can see here Again, I'm doing the exactly same thing. So document data and I have created the structure here like ID, name, added at, URL and the content hash. This is just a document information where I'm just adding into the blockchain. And these are the two functions, getting creating documents and get document by ID. These are the two functions I have added here. And again, I'm doing the same thing what we have done in the Fabcar, like starting it. So this is the smart contract we are going to install on our existing network so let me show you one thing here docker ps our network is already up and running and we have already three three chain code instances like fabcar instances fabcar chain code instances for each organization so we have one instance running so when we deploy this chain code, I mean document CC chain code. So this again, three containers will get created on the our network. So each organization will have again same uh, this document CC. Again, it's up to us to install this chain code on specific organizations. Maybe you can install on only one organization or maybe only two organization or all the organizations. So. Uh, let's start with installing this one, this chain code as well. So for that purpose, we have deploy chain code, deploy test CC. This is the script we have. So maybe we can just change the name. Deploy document CC. And here inside the same 
same same steps we have already followed like we we are doing the pre setup packaging the chain code installing all the peer, installing on the all the peer querying approving for each organizations committing the chain code definition these steps we are going to cover and i am not going to uh, go through each and every steps just you can go through that part i have already gone in the previous uh, fabcar so right now i'm just running that part deploy document cc.acs so let me check once here pre setup is there yeah the steps are there pre setup packaging the chain code installing the chain code approving and finally committing the chain code so i'm just running this part again you can see on the screen is downloading the dependency finished it on the screen we can see the progress first step got completed second step also got completed chain code is packaged and for installing the chain code uh, it take little time at the initial stage when uh, generally it create the con uh, image for the chain code so that's why it's create uh, it takes some time but once we are doing the same thing again and again it will not take because uh, that image is already there and in case if you are doing any small change in the start contract then that image again uh, this will create a new image for that so again it will take a little time but so let's wait for the installation i am stopping this video now and i will start again once once it done install on the all the peer approve approving right now first organization second organization and third one also committing finally we are checking it and finally successfully committed so let me show that three containers again here just clearing it docker ps yeah so you can see document cc these are the three containers for each organization we have one document uh, chain code container and fab for fabcar as well we have so right now for each on each peer we have two smart contracts so we can just check these things on the explorer let me show you that part so right now you can see here we have one special specific dedicated folder explorer here so one thing you guys have to do just copy artifacts so we have one crypto config folder copy this part and paste inside explorer okay the only organization one crypto materials is required to getting the data for this explorer uh, other things are not required you can just delete those part but just i am uh, for saving the time i am just copying all the folder in the explorer you can see let me minimize this part okay here in the explorer we have one docker compose.yaml file so i have already covered this part in the previous one of the video like we have two services that is explorer db postgres sql we are going to use and the explorer container so again here we are providing the proper configuration files here and in the config.json file we are providing this fabric network 2.2.json uh, so make sure that you are also providing the same one in case if you are making any changes in the connection profile we have two for the previous older version and the latest one fabric 2.2 so these are the things we have to mention here uh, so let me check one thing here uh, admin private key in the crypto config organization one users admin sign cert and key store so we have here private underscore sk so let me rename that part so make sure that you also do the same thing because otherwise you have to add this name here i'm just running that part so let me check this tls part as well peer zero one once again yeah it's here okay just i'm running docker compose up in detach mode
So here I'm running Docker Compose up in detach mode and these two services will get created in the Docker Compose file we have already. So make sure that another one change I want to uh, add here. So in the sign cert, we have cert.pm. So we have to make, uh, previously it was uh, admin something, uh, little different name was there. Let me show you that part here. Yeah, admin at the rate org1.example.com cert.pm, it was there, yeah, this was there, but in the crypto config folder we have cert.pm only so make sure that they make that change as well so i'm just i'm committing this change so you guys have to take care only this private key so in the admin cert in the private key you have to make the same names here in case we have a different name just put it here or maybe this private key rename with whatever the key inside here with the private uh, underscore sk so all these services are already up and running now we can just check the log docker logs explorer network hyphen f we can see here this started fetching the data and putting into the postgresql database now we can just access the ui localhost 8080 is the port Yeah, so for, for the first time it will ask for the login username and the password. So username and passwords are available inside this file net first network dot 2.2 JSON. So which is available again inside this connection profile fabric network 2.2 at the top you can see here admin credentials ID is the explorer admin and password is the explorer admin PW sign in the transaction we can see here on the UI so you can see here there are two chain codes fabcar and document cg these two chain codes we have installed on the single channel and this is the my channel okay so later part maybe we can con uh, we can in, uh, create a multiple channel and check on the UI as well but maybe in the upcoming video so the purpose of showing this UI is we have two smart contract installed on this channel my channel fabcar one and the second one is the document cc and you can see all the other transactions here so now it's time to interact with the second smart contract so how we can interact so let's jump into the vs code i want to okay so here in the api 2.0 in the api 2.0 again just go to the invoke.js here so make sure we have those method already defined here very a smart contract yeah oh yeah test.go i think maybe you can just rename it document.go so here uh, create document this is the function we will be invoking so what is the procedure just go to the postman our network is already up and running our server was already running just we have added that extra smart contact so now add document here is one api we, we can see here instead of test cc we have now document cc okay in the body create document is the method and again for creating documents we are providing these attributes like id name added at url content hash these are the five attributes we are going to provide on the channel name chain code name and the function name the procedure is exactly straightforward i'm now sending it yeah yeah so we got a transaction id now we can see on the UI in the CowsDB actually. I, I want to sh show one thing here. For same for the same channel, so we have two smart contract. Okay, yeah. So you can see here. So for the same channel, we have two smart contract. 
documents ac and the fab card so it means it will create a two ledger so each ledger will have data of the that particular smart contract that is the chain code specially so for this my channel we have two smart contract documents ac and the fab card so we have uh, so you can see here on the ui there are two ledgers document underscore cc fab card so we can install n num any number of smart contract and this ledger will get created for each smart contract uh, chain code so here in the document cc we can see again the same thing like for this id we have this data like name id content hash url this all the data which we have just triggered from the postman so in this way we can install any number of smart contract as per your business use case on the same channel or maybe on the different channel as well you can uh, install any any number of the smart contract that part we will be covering in the upcoming videos but so right now on the same channel we can install any number of smart contracts and we ha here we have installed two smart contract first one is the document cc and second one is the fab car these two smart contract we have installed uh, that's it for this video in the next video we will see how these two smart contract can interact with each other so that they can just share data as per their policies defined in case uh, this document cc want to access data from the fab car or maybe fab car want to access some data from the document cc these things we are going to cover in the next video uh, thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for the more updates